So the generation line has been doing a bunch of more Beast Wars figures lately. Isn't it cool? Yes, it quite is. But then there's, you know, the g winers I mean, come on guys. You're not the only Transformers fans around. Hey guys, what's up, BC? Coming back at you guys with another Transformers video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Generations Waspinator and Rat Trap. A basically a double review. I realize I really haven't been very active when it comes to the video reviews lately. I've been focusing a little bit more on um, my other podcasts and just a bunch of my other videos, like just stuff that I really haven't gotten around to doing because the reviews piled up so high and I'm kind of stuck in that position again so I'm gonna do my best to get reviews out which even now it's just it's gonna be a bit of a hectic type deal because my, my grandmother passed away this weekend and it's just been it's been a really long week I I'm really just I don't know but that's my video for another day right now Let's look at some plastic crack. Now, as you all know, Rat Trap and Waspinator was played by the basically epic Scott McNeil, <laughs> one of my all time favorite voice actors. So, having two of his four characters in my collection makes me very happy. So, let's get Rat Trap out of the way so that we can take a look at Waspinator. I could do so much better, but I just really don't feel like it right now. Anyways, um, he, yeah, anyways, here's Waspinator, and he looks really cool. Oh, and just, I mean, the Wasp mode, I admit, is a little bit on the chunky side. It's not as sleek and slender as, say, the original toy and his show counterpart. But I still love the way this looks. It still looks freaking awesome. For a bug. <laughs> um, I mean, it could be worse. It's not great, but it's not horrible. Um... He got he kind of has articulation in the bug legs, but I really don't count it because the, all the actual joints in the bug that would matter really don't move. So the, there really is no point in pointing them out. And then he's got this flapping gimmick and ball jointed wings. The ball jointed wings I admit are pretty cool, but this flapping gimmick for the wasp mode kind of sucks. I don't like this much for the for the wasp mode. But that's just me. So yeah, and the de detailing wise, he's got, basically he got the segmented eyes. Which, that is friggin' awesome. How they actually went the extra mile to give him the segmented eyes. That is pretty much attention to detail right there. I love this. Now of course if you look in there, you can actually kinda sorta see his head like right there. But oh well, let's put him. Now let's put him to the back and get a look at Rat Trap. Now, if there's anything the Beast Wars line has always been really pretty much known for, it was getting the fur detail pretty much exactly right. And these new figures, this new Rat Trap figure is no exception. Look, just look at all the fur detail on it. It looks so, so nice. And one of the things I really noticed about these new Beast Wars figures is that their Beast Modes look really nice, but don't have a lot of articulation. A lot of people kind of launch that as a complaint. I really don't view it as that. Why? Because you basically get a very stable Rat Mode. It doesn't look as it like if it had all these ball joints within the legs and stuff, he would pretty much just smush to the ground on within time. But that's just 
I don't know. Anyways, a neat little feature with him, which I'm glad they put it in, is if you kind of fold this rat tail up, which it's articulated with a little bendy wire, which that's kind of cool. But I know that's going to pretty much shatter over time, but whatever. You basically can, with this bit folded up like that, if you fold his joints just right, Right, and just kind of balance him you can actually get him to do standing on two legs like he did in the cartoon that is freaking cool as soon as I actually put him in this stance I was just like wow that's nostalgic because I, I grew up with Beast Wars even though I really didn't collect even though I really didn't play with the toys much at all but whatever anyways let's uh get him back in a rat back in a four-legged rat mode and uh, <laughs> a little funny story I kinda kinda held him in the palm of his other leg will move there we go I kinda held him in the palm of my hand like this to where the, his tail was sticking out and it scared the crap out of my mom it was funny Love you, Mom. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that's the rat mode. And both of these guys overall are pretty freaking cool figures. I would definitely say they're beast modes, eh. So th th they're beast modes, eh. They're decent. I mean, the rat mode has robot killable basically all over the underside, but that's only if you stand them up, like I just did. And the wasp mode is a bit chunky. But then, when you see them in their robot mode, you see why they made the decisions that they did. So anyways, um, this time around, I'm going to start... Once again, I'm going to start with Waspinator because he's actually the easiest of the bunch. Of oh, the bunch being three. The hardest actually being Rhinox because he was kind of difficult. So yeah, unplug his arms and fold them out like that. Kind of come underneath here and unplug this and fold it down and out of the way. Unplug it from here, fold this piece back like that, so you can see what I'm doing, and then rotate this piece around, and then push it up to where it locks into place, kind of, sort of, maybe, straight out, straighten out his legs, fold his feet around, and fold out his heel, and then you rotate the bug leg up to where it's across his um goes up his leg and there you go the same thing to the other side there we go there are his legs now keeping everything out of the way you now take the entire bug head flip it around which you can see I painted the eyes purple because why not kind of start flipping and rotating everything flip his, flip his uh, bug legs back now you take this you push the shoulders in to where they split the bug that's where they split the bug head and then this whole thing accordions in and plugs into place which locks everything together there we go And there's Waspinator in robot mode. Now that he's done, let's put him off to the back. Actually, no, before we do that, we kind of have to... Let's try and yank out his little... pea shooter. Put that in his hand. And there, and there he is in robot mode. 
because he always he's always gonna need his gun. So yeah, that's Wasp Mater. I now let's focus on Rat Trap. Rat Trap's transformation is pretty cool. So let's just get him straight now and you split these two pieces out and then fold them back like this. Kind of get the gun out. Pull his arms out like this. And the rat legs kind of hook into the butt like this. With this. So you unhook it there, kind of straighten it out, push it in, fold this piece in, then fold the entire robot leg over and then flip the right foot underneath. And there you go. You kind of do the same thing on the other side. Kind of fold and flip and and plug that in and then there we go. Now you take basically you fold this piece up like this, this and then you take this whole thing and you accordion it up like that. Then you take the shoulders, fold them out like this, flip his rat at head down to make his chest. And then you just take the arms and just position them correctly. Which this arm is super scary. Like it's scary how tight it is. I honestly feel like I'm gonna tear it right off the joint. So I tried my best not to transform him too much. And then you can do whatever you want with these rat legs on his um backpack. Give him his gun. And there's Rat Trap in bot mode. Now here are the bot modes together. And the bot modes look friggin' awesome. This is... Like, all the sacrifices that were made for their beast modes really helped to make their robot modes just really shine. I love the way Waspinator looks. I love the way Rat Trap looks. But most importantly, I love how they're going to end up looking when I finally get my Beast War shelf back up and running. If I can get Rhinox to stand up. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. There we go. So yeah, there you go. There's a whole gang. Well, okay. Of my gang, there's my Beast Wars figures. Or at least my updates. And they look great. They really do. I really need to get that Cheetor and that Dinobot. I need to get Dinobot back. I need to get Cheetor. If anybody can help me with those, I would greatly appreciate it. But, um, just... Just wow. This is almost exactly what I saw come out of the TV show. But yeah, let's get Rhinox out of the picture because he's already had screen time. So, articulation wise, let's start with Waspinator. He's got a fully ball jointed head, which is kind of emotive, but kind of not at the same time. A ball jointed shoulder. A ball jointed elbow, which allows a full range of motion. A wrist swivel. Well, no waist articulation. Ball joint at the hip. A thigh swivel. And a pretty weak knee bend. Uh, like, that's weak. That's really weak. And here, the gimmick of um, the flapping wings... If you keep everything out of the way, it actually kind of works for his bot mode. Like, 
This gimmick feels like it was solely meant for robot mode. You know, whatever. It's still a gimmick, nonetheless. Now for Rat Trap articulation. He's got a swivel in his head, but he's also got a joint inside that allows him to look down a little bit. Like, that's the most you're going to get of downward movement. And with a ball joint in the shoulder. Mm. Or, uh, Need an elbow bend. Okay, that's the tight joint. He's got a rotation at the elbow, which doesn't really suffice for a bicep for a bicep swivel. Again, no waist. Ball joint in the hip, a thigh swivel, and a pretty epic knee bend. And there you go. And as far as gimmicks for him, he's actually got two. Waspmater had the one with the flapping wings and the and I guess you could count the gun as a a gimmick but whatever a transforming gun whatever he's got two guns that you can put in his hands which is pretty cool but then there's this if you remember in Beast Wars carried around a bomb and this little con this little contraption in his arm opens up to reveal a little bomb that's freaking cool and it's really easy to slip back into his hand so there you go does Rat Trap. And all around, these two are really nice. Now as far as who I'd recommend, which in this case, we're definitely going to have to get Ryan Ox back in here. Even though technically he breaks my rule of don't compare Deluxes to Voyagers. But whatever, these are Beast Wars figures, who really cares? And then he falls over. Come on man, stand up, please. There we go. So, of the three of these, if you had to get one, get Rhinox. If you really had to only get one, definitely get Rhinox. But, if you're somebody who is like me, where you love Beast Wars to death, and you're enjoying the fact that all the characters are pretty much getting updates, then you pretty much already have all three of these, including the other two that were released. So all around, can I recommend Rat Trap and Waspinator? Yes, I can. The the really cool figures. The Rat Mode is really nice on Rat Trap as well as his uh, Robot Mode. But again, I feel the Robot Mode is the better of the two. Waspinator's Bug Mode is eh, but his Robot Mode is where he shines. He really does look nice in Robot Mode. Like, literally, all three of these guys right here look as if they walk right out of the cartoon. They look really, really nice. So with all of this said, this is BC saying stay nerdy and get your geek on. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.